Good morning guys and welcome to Peterborough here in the United Kingdom. Now Peterborough is supposedly one of the worst places to live in the country. But that's not my words, that's the words of every survey and every article in recent years. So I've come here to Peterborough to find out if it's true. Is it really one of the worst places to live? Let's find out. Bro, this place is shit, man. Why? It's such a bad place. Like, there's nothing to do here, bro. Whenever you come here, people be like, oh, there's a cathedral here, it must be nice or something. That's the only thing that we can actually flex with a cathedral, but it doesn't even make anything nice about it. Now, I have no knowledge of Peterborough. Oh, yeah, I've it. never been here, I don't know anything about it, so I'm curious, why is it rated one of the worst in the country? I'm sure you're curious as well. So in this video, we're gonna find out why. Now, it was in recent years, the worst place to live in the UK. It was crowned at like three years in a row or something. But now, Luton has taken that crown. Now I've been to Luton, I've got to say, it's pretty grim, I think it deserves it. So let's find out if Peterborough deserves the title. Let's go. And then everything around here, what happens around here, bro? There's people <laughs> fighting around here at night. You come here, nitty sitting on that bench, that bench, everything. Nothing else to do. Great. What about you girls, do you like it here? Um, no? Is it the second worst place in the country, I they say? first, what's, what's first? Luton. Luton? Ah, yeah, no. Luton's bad, well. bad as well, yeah, fair yeah. play. Now, guys, the best way to explore a place you've never been to before is to reach out to a local that's born and bred and knows his stuff. And that is why I've been joined by Timmy. Welcome to Peterborough, Ben. Thank you, mate. How are you? Well, I'll tell you what, mate. First impressions, it's all right. You've got cathedrals, churches, nice buildings. There is an underbelly here, though. Really? A lot, a lot of stuff goes down, and we will explore that today. Lead the way, mate. Let's go. Let's on. do it. Guys, I've been joined by Jack, who was born in Peterborough. Mate, what's your story? Oh, yeah, I was uh, born in Peterborough. Um, moved away a little bit, but um, been living local just up the road for about the last 10 years or so, I'd say now. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I think it was the worst rated city in the world, but yeah. it's now the second it's worst. It's the second, so it's moving up, mate. Moving on up, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, I'm, I'm, they must be doing something right, I don't know. Um, yeah. It's, but yeah, looking at the centre, it's all right, isn't it? It's just, you know, there's a mixture of, you know, the good and the bad, and unfortunately around here, it's mostly the good, uh, the bad, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been it's told, like, around the outskirts of the, like, the town centre, though, it gets a bit rough. It does, yeah, there's a few roads, um, you know, just leading off from the centre, and... Mm. Yeah, you, you wouldn't really want to be walking there at night, put it that way. I've yeah. been told, I've yeah. been told. <laughs> i tell you what guys, I've seen worse places. I mean, look at this behind me. This is a 900 year old cathedral. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at it, it's amazing. And then you've got these old buildings next to it. Look at this. But, Timmy, you were just saying, mate. Around the corner from here, Ben. There's an underbelly in Peterborough that doesn't get spoken about often and we're going to go and explore today and show everybody what we see with our own eyes. Let's go. Let's go mate. Lead the way. Lead the way. <laughs> Welcome. Look who it is guys. It's Mr Fish who's joined us on a trip to Peterborough. Always stood next to a bloody bin. Oh, you caught me again Ben. Mate, why are you always next to a bin? Oh. You know me, mate. You know me. <laughs> but welcome to Peterborough, mate. Yeah, mate. I mean, on the surface, the city centre looks beautiful. Architecturally, we just checked out the cathedral grounds. Beautiful. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Mate. I mean, I've seen worse towns. I mean, look at Western Supermare. I know. Look where I'm from. I know. Plymouth. Plymouth. So we are a stone's throw away from the cathedral. It's literally right behind me, and it's already changed around here. There's a lot of abandoned shops around here, and behind me, You've got an ab old abandoned nightclub, which has been closed for 20 years, you say, mate? Is that right? This is Fifth Avenue, mate. Centre of Peterborough. Shut down for about 20 years now. Bloody hell. In the surrounding areas, just around here, you've got shops shut down. More night old nightclubs around the corner. Okay. So you grew up here the, your whole life then? Yeah. yeah. So if I want any excitement, I would go out of Peterborough. <laughs> that, that, that there's sense. not much going no, on. Because uh, youngsters, what do you do? As doing? a local, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's very low crime. It's low crime here in Peterborough? Yes. Okay. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. And uh, Peterborough uh, is, I mean, this is a uh, proper English town. I mean, mm. uh, 950 or 
1,300 years old. Yeah. This Still got all the old buildings yeah. here. I've got to admit, the ones that grew up in Peterborough, they don't have that uh, kill and be killed, mm. uh, especially in business. Because as you go to London, I'm born in London, you're drilling in South Russian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want it, it's mine. <laughs> Let's have it. Let's have it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be one. What's your name? My name is Shah. Shah. Nice to meet you, Shah. Yeah. Shah. Yeah. It's like your football team. No matter how bad it does, you don't stop sporting it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. I've, not okay. I've not less faith in uh, Man United, so there we go. And Liverpool. <laughs> You're doing well, mate. You're doing well. We well. Yeah, we're doing well. It's nice to see you. Take care, Take care Shah. Good luck, Shah. Thanks, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Take, Take care, mate. Thank you so much, Shah. Got a bank here, Timmy. We have a Barclays bank. Barclays bank. was smashed up last week. Every window battered last week. There we go. Check it out. I mean, look at it now. Bloody still hell. Business, mind you. It's still open, is it? Oh, I might go and draw some money. <laughs> it's going to pop in. Oh, there she goes. Just got some then. So behind me is the old passport office. Now, back in the day, you could come here and get your passport on the same day. There's a new office around the corner, but this one behind me is just completely abandoned. And then this street is just full of it. Abandoned shops, abandoned nightclubs. Mate, is that right? Abandoned. You've got abandoned nightclubs, the old bowling alley, um, three or four clubs that used to exist here, shut down no longer exist. Um, back in the day we would stand around and queue up to get into this halo and have a good time, have a good party. As you can see, completely abandoned, shut down. How long's the uh, passport office been passport closed? The passport office has been closed for about one to two years. Oh wow, it looks about 20 years, mate. Yeah. Let's get closer, I'll show you the main entrance. Yeah. So this is it, this is the main entrance back in the day. People would come in here, get their passport, and then go home. But now look at it. It's all been smashed in. Look at the front entrance. It's all, in. all been kicked in, boarded up. Look at this. Bottles of booze everywhere, needles. I mean, someone's been living there last night. Look, there's blankets there. It's the same around the corner. Mate, I'm starting to see, you know, why it's getting a reputation. You, we are a stone's throw from the cathedral, we're mate. From the Peterborough City Centre. And this is just the touch of the surface that you're going to see. Blimey. You ready for this, mate? I don't know if I am, Ben. <laughs> Let's go. Here it is then, here are the abandoned nightclubs and pubs on the street. It's where Timmy and the boys would come back in the day. But now this has been closed for years. Look at it. Man, sad isn't it mate when you see Very your sad. old place is closed. Yeah. I mean you've got the, the bowling alley behind you. The bowling alley as well, shut down. The memories and it's only, you know, 10, 12 years ago that it was vibrant and so busy. But it's a sad, sad state it of It is affairs. sad mate, yeah. To see all the places abandoned unfortunately. Well, there you go, that entire street is just closed, derelict, and just forgotten about here in Peterborough. Sad times, and there's a pile of vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Sad time. We're now on the side streets of the town centre. We're going to go to like some estates, check it out, because apparently that's where it really gets a bit rough. I can already see it. Right behind the cathedral, we've got this little area here where. Well, Timmy, you were just saying... People get up to no good around here. Um, the Tim Foyle's here for a reason. Yeah, I don't know. And it's just very grim. It's um, grim, mate, and it's sad. There's people living here, look. If you were look. living on Dickens Street, you would understand what goes on here and see it for your own eyes. And it's going to get worse down this way. It's going to get worse. Yeah, mate, it's getting a lot worse down this end, isn't it? We are coming across Peterborough. This is the real Peterborough, raw is it? Pe raw Peterborough. Blimey. We're in Timmy's car. Mate, where are we heading? We're going to Millfield and Lincoln Road. Supposedly, so Timmy has told me off camera, a dodgy place, yes. which is the crime hotspot of Peterborough. So when you say crime hotspot, like, you know, why? <laughs> is the stats bad there or something? You've got violent crime. Um, in terms of crime statistics, it's, it's number one for Peterborough, Peterborough Central, Millfield, um, and the crime relates to paraphernalia, stuff that goes on on the streets, you'll see. Well, Let's wish go. us luck, we're having a little stroll around, don't push the boundaries too much, and yeah, welcome to Millfield. Keep my camera in the bum. 
Not the best first interaction. That man just told me to put my camera in my bum. So yeah, not the best start. Let's hope for better. So then, Timmy, this is Lincoln Road here in Peterborough. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. It's early. It's early. I can imagine at night time it gets a, a lot different. It's dirty, I'll be honest. I'm stepping on a lot of things here. You've got to be careful. There's a lot of needle bins. Yeah, I've uh, noticed the needle bins. A, a homeless issue which is going on in the city which needs to be addressed. And a lot of the locals will not come down here at night time due to the, the issues that are going on with crime um, in this hotspot area of Millfield in Peterborough. Blimey. So yeah, we're gonna have a little walk around. Don't expect a lot of interactions. It's early, it's quite quiet actually. Are you from Peterborough? I'm from Peterborough, yes. What's it like here on Lincoln Road? Lincoln Road, very busy. <laughs> busy? Yeah. Is it safe to walk around? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. A lot of people said it's like the no-go zone of Peterborough. At night time. At night time? Yeah. Is that the right, is they that it? It's like here. a no-go zone? No-go zone for a lot of the locals now. Some people don't even come down here anymore. This used to be the blockbuster where you could go to get your DVDs 15 years ago. A lot of people don't go here anymore. They just, there's a no-go zone for a lot of people, a lot of the locals. Fish, you got the crime stat to this place, haven't you? It was eye-watering, mate. We just had a look. There was 524 street-level incidences that happened on this small area of Peterborough last month. Last month? Last month, mate. Blimey. There were 206 violent incidences on the Millfield estate. Back in the car after a little walk around. Now, as you've just seen, there's only so much I can show you, but you get a gist of it. It feels a bit rough walking around, and the stats don't lie in that place, so obviously rough. it's a rough place, like Fish said, with um, the crime rate back there. But it's early. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning, so we're not going to see much. The only thing that happened there was that guy told me to put my camera up my bum. So that was the best interaction we got. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to this town. Guys, I'm leaving Timmy for a bit. Mate, thank you for showing me Lovely Peter, to meet bro. You, ben. Honestly, top lad. He's a, he does YouTube as well. Thank so you. I've linked it below. Go check out his channel and uh, yeah, show some support. I'm going to see him again in the future. So um, top lad. There's a lot of rundown parts here in Peterborough. There is. Um, you've got the nice town centre, which has its old beautiful buildings. But as soon as you go past those streets, you know, it takes a wrong turn. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, 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 rough. pretty rough. Is it the second worst place in the, in the city, in the country, though? I'm not so sure. Now, for my time here in Peterborough, I thought it'd only be fitting if I booked myself a night here in the worst rated hotel. So I have. I've booked one night in the Thorpe Lodge Hotel, which cost me £47, cheap in England. But let me tell you something, the reviews of this place are next level bad. Let me read some of them out for you. One just says, Nightmare Hotel, had to travel to Peterborough for a meeting, short notice, definitely the worst place I've ever stayed. The next one, Nightmare in Peterborough. I'm a 60 year old man and I can honestly say it's the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. The whole room stinks, blah, 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 blah. There's just endless lists. Do not stay here. I felt very unsafe. Someone tried to get into my room at one point. Oh, Jesus. I spent better nights driving until dawn. The worst hotel I've ever stayed in. The list goes on. So let me show you what £47 a night gets you here in Peterborough. Here it is, guys. The Thorpe Lodge Hotel here in Peterborough. Let's get in there. Right then, here we go. Here we go, room number seven. Oh, -ho! here it is. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's all right. Let me give you a little tour of my 47 pound room. Got a little bedside mirror. You got the bed, and then you got a kettle next to you, a window with a view, Little TV, a little chair, but the negatives, I've got to say, got a toilet, got a carpet, flooring, stains everywhere. What's the toilet like? Let me have a look. Oh, Jesus. It's all right. I've had worse. I've had worse. Sink, basic sink, basic mirror, and a basic shower. 
Oh God. There you go, not so bad. Two towels, two pillows. The more I investigate the carpet, the more I realise it's a bit minging. I mean, look at this. I don't know if my camera picks it up. Pretty muddy, pretty grotty. And then the bed in. What's the bed in like underneath? Oh God, what's that? What is that? No, I'll tell you what, it's all right. It's all right. Let me get that back on. Two decent pillows, nice and soft. And then a view of Peterborough. And all its beauty, look at that. Look at that car park. Guys, you know me, I'm honest with my hotel reviews. If a room's bad, I say it's bad. But listen, right here in the heart of Peterborough, 47 quid, basic room. I mean, that's a bargain, that price for this country, let me tell you. It's got everything you need, basic bed, Pretty comfy. Basic toilet, it's a bit banged up, but whatever. The only negative I'd probably say is the carpet. The carpet's minging. But other than that, the room's fine. However, the reviews did say at night time it gets a bit crazy. One of the reviews said someone's gonna walk through my door in the middle of the night. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But let's find out. Let's lock the door, let's not take any risks. We are in Peterborough. Hello, fish. You alright, mate? Alright, mate. How's the room? Um, yeah, I think I'll be sleeping in my jacket. <laughs> Close, the Close the door. Close the door. Mate, I'll be honest. My room's alright. Apart from the carpet, it's a bit minging. The toilet's all bashed up. But other than that, yeah, the carpeted toilet area. Yeah. <laughs> have that, you got the same? Yeah, I've got the same, bud. Oh I've yeah, I can same. see it. Let me but have I a look mean, at this. Like you said, you know, it's nice and clean. That looks. This looks new, mate. Yeah, well, you can tell he's, he's redone the silicone around the bottom, that's yeah. for sure. Normally you come in and they're a bit grubby and stuff, but... But you've got a carpeted toilet floor. Yeah, definitely. Very nice, good for the feet, nice and warm exactly. during winter. Got got a, what would you say, a 32-inch television there? Yeah, that's a big inch of that, mate. Big inch of that one. And then you've got a nice a big, big double bed. So there you go, guys. Not so bad after all, but like I said upstairs, it could get rowdy later on this <laughs> evening. The reviews are nuts. <laughs> anyway, we're now going to explore Peterborough at night. Let's hit the streets and see what it's like here at night time. Ready mate? Oh, I think so mate, let's go. Let's go, let's do it. Um, yeah. Good evening from the streets of Peterborough. Now my camera is terrible at night time, but I've been joined by two locals here that are born in Peterborough, born and bred. Lads, introduce yourselves. My name's Josh, um, I'm from Stangrau, which is not too far from the centre. So. Yeah, I'm exactly the same, from Stangrau, my name's Adam, and of course we're from Peterborough. And it's good to be here, lads, and what do you think of the place? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all it's right, we're proud to be from this city. <laughs> um, same time, um, there's a lot going wrong with this place, if I'm quite honest with you. And there's been a marked decline, probably in the last 30 years, when you talk to people. Um, you know, you sort of think there's, it's sort of a clean quite a nice place you know a bit more of a town vibe really feels um, like a town yeah. yeah 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 it's grown a lot you know yeah. it's uh, one of the fastest growing cities in terms of population and all that and um, you know I think it's a city that sometimes isn't necessarily easy it's easy with itself but at the same time there's a lot of good things going on in this city as well I think yeah you know. so we were saying before you know ask anyone above 50 you know say 30 years ago the city is was way better than what it is now and the decline's been very quick yeah uh, anyone our age doesn't is used to it and they almost almost accepts it so mm. yeah but why do you think it's the rated like the worst place in the UK? Yeah, I know. You know, I think it is that that sense of decline. Like you can Which say I've, yourself, I've always like, said, you know, like um, yeah. I lived in Luton for a year for university and worked there, and that place is way worse than. Oh, here. mate, yeah. Luton the gangs alone, the crime yeah. is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Folk, people worse than Luton at any stage is insane. Yeah. But at least yeah. they were second. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, shout out to being second. Hopefully next year you're third, fourth, fifth. You yeah, know. Exactly. That's too right, mate. But you wouldn't say it's the worst place in the UK or second worst no, overall. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to say it's, it's not inspiring. It's not inspiring by any means. Say, yeah, exactly. But, I'd say it's, yeah. it's down there probably mm. at the moment. Um, you know, compared to what it should yeah. be, there's a lot of potential in this place. But you know, it's um, it's definitely not the worst place. Right then, let's explore deeper into Peterborough at night. We're going back to Millfield where we were this morning. Timmy, mate, is it really a good idea to, for us to be walking around here with our cameras? I, I mean, would, I would not advise. Oh my God! You see that? <laughs> mate, they're shooting it? up in the bloody bus stop. They are as well. I would not around. advise Lincoln Road after after dark. It is a shithole, and 
it's a dangerous place for a lot of people. This feels dangerous, honestly. It's not a nice place and you just have to watch your back. Coming down here, take care of yourself. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be walking around here with my camera. No. I might have to film from the car. <laughs> Bollocks to that guys, bollocks to that. Sometimes in life you just gotta trust your gut. Now this, I've been to some dodgy places in my time, but pff, night time at Peterborough, didn't fancy it. So I've come back to the safety of the Fort Blodge Hotel. Hopefully get a decent night's sleep. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, morning. Oh, listen to that. That's been out since 6 a.m. Terrible sleep. Terrible. Bed's not look very comfortable, to be honest. Yeah, not the best sleep. Let me get my bag. Get out of here. <sighs> How do you sleep, mate? I didn't sleep very well at all. Me I reckon too. I lost about three kilos in sweat. <laughs> so hot, wasn't it? <laughs> it was unbelievably hot. And the man next door, I just kept hearing him bloody sparking up his cigarettes throughout the night. Just there. Every now and again, you'd hear the flicker of the lighter, and it would, oh. It was a nightmare, mate. Did you have like people making noise next to you? What, coming and, coming and going from their yeah, rooms? Yeah, And it was incredibly loud, so you'd feel like somebody was bursting into your room at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, same as me. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, it was constant noise, honestly. Constant, Not the best sleep. Right. But overall, the hotel was decent for his yeah. money anyway. Yeah. And the hotel guy that would let, check us in. Yeah, the reception man, really friendly. Top lad, top yeah, lad. Definitely. But overall, yeah. We've got our money's worth, let's just say. Don't think we'll be going back to the Fort Lodge Hotel though, Ben. Nah. Nah. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. So guys, that was our short time in Peterborough. Now we need to give our opinion on a place. Is it the second worst place in the country? I'm not so sure. I can't give my full opinion. We weren't here for very long, were we, mate? Uh, it's difficult to give a, you know, an honest opinion when you've only been here 24 hours, isn't it? Yeah, we've had a little walk around the town centre, went to some streets, met some cool people. People are friendly, yeah. but there is an underbelly. There is a dark side to this oh, place. Undisputable, mate. So, let us know in the comments. Is Peterborough the second worst place in the country? Let us know. Where are we going now, mate? Birmingham, your favourite. You're having a laugh. I'm not. You're having a laugh. I wish I was. Birmingham. Birmingham. Jesus Christ. See you in Birmingham.